Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at Commander Gree from the Clone Wars line. Now, this figure is absolutely fantastic, but before we take a closer look at it, let's go ahead and take a look at its packaging. So here it is. Um, as you can see, it's pretty standard for the kind of earlier Clone Wars. Up here in the corner, it's got an image of Commander Gree himself. And then whenever you flip it over onto the back, you can see an image of the figure as well as an image of Commander Gree from the Clone Wars. Right here in the middle, there is a brief description. And of course, if you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. And then finally, down here at the bottom, it's got some of the other figures that were released around the same time. So overall, pretty standard stuff, so let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself. Now, Commander Grease stands at, let's see here, oh, about four inches tall. So he's right in scale with all of your other Clone Wars and Star Wars action figures, which is pretty cool. And this guy comes with a ton of accessories. Now, the first one is already on the figure, and that is his helmet, of course. And this is made of a, you know, fairly soft rubber or uh, plastic, so it uh, fits on the figure nice. And it's a better sculpt than the uh, Captain Rex one, the early Captain Rex figure, at least in my opinion. And then, of course, underneath the helmet, there is a nice version of the Clone Wars Gree under there, which I think is cool. His next accessory is his rocket launcher. And, you know, you can kind of tell from here it's a little bit oversized. It's, it's kind of... Um, you know, cartoony, um, and it's obviously because it has to house a, an action feature. Uh, so if you push this button on the top, it does actually launch a little missile out of there. But, you know, even though it's oversized, it does look pretty cool whenever you pose the figure with this, so I don't mind too much. His next accessory is this blaster rifle. And it's pretty standard. We saw these all throughout the Clone Wars while they were still being released. Unfortunately, this is an early one, so it's got the kind of shorter handle. They did eventually revise that, but um, like I said, this was an earlier figure, so they hadn't worked that out yet. Then the final accessory is this blaster pistol here. If it'll focus, here we go. Um, fairly nicely done again. We saw these all throughout the Clone Wars. And of course, there is a holster on the figure, so you can actually place this on the figure's belt, um, which is pretty cool. So. As far as articulation on this guy goes, it's really well done, like a lot of the Clone Wars figures were, at least the Clone Troopers. He's got a ball peg underneath his helmet there. He's got ball hinge shoulders with an excellent range. Of course, they do swivel 360. Then he's got hinged elbows with a swivel. Then he's got hinged wrists with a swivel. And on this hand, it runs this way through the hand. And on this side, it runs vertically through the hand. And then in the torso, he's got a swivel, which allows him to turn side to side, obviously. And then he's got one that goes this way like this so that he can tip forward and back. So you can get pretty much any pose you want to out of that. He's got swivel hips with a fairly decent range on those, at least forward and back. Then he's got hinged knees with a swivel and then hinged ankles with a swivel. So overall, this is a fantastic figure. Personally, I think it's one of my favorites uh, from the Clone Wars. Uh, I don't know, something about the combination of the green with the helmet and just the really iconic design I think looks really cool. So I definitely recommend picking up this figure if you can find one. If you have any comments or questions, um, go ahead and hit me up on my social media. The link for that will be down in the description below. And I guess I'll see you later.